viewers this is just fake network tv a place where you can get the latest information about nigeria news for those who subscribe want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing we say god bless you if you're here to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and now the news in details anxiety over bauchi governor's contact with article son anxiety has gripped members of the national economic council nec following the decision by Bauchi State Governor Bala Muhammad and his ex-storage to self-isolate after coming in contact with former Vice President Atiku Abu Bakar's son who tested positive. Muhammad's self-isolation was announced in a press statement yesterday by his media aide, Mutka Gidadu, as the governor had traveled with Atiku's son in the same flight from Lagos to Abuja and that both of them exchange and shake. The governor has cancelled all appointments, though the result of the test he reportedly took was not out at press time. NEC members, including protocols and other auxiliary staff yesterday, started expressing apprehension over their interaction with the governor. It was not clear when the flight itself took place, but the governor attended last Thursday meeting of the council presided over by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo in the presidential villa Abuja, where he mingled for several hours in the council chamber with the Vice President and other members. Oshibajo yesterday abruptly cancelled a 9 a.m. commissioning of a scheduled national traffic radio at the Federal Road Safety Corp, FRSC, headquarters in Abuja. A message from the Vice President Media office to newsmen ahead of the program on sunday read good evening hall the program for the national traffic radio commission is scheduled for tomorrow has been cancelled the reason for the sudden cancellation of the commissioning could not be established but sources said the decision was not unconnected with the outbreak in the country meanwhile atiku has clarified the movement of his son muhammad who was taken to the quarantine center in Kwangwalada, Abuja last Friday. Wow, wow, these people are now scared, you know. All the leaders are now scared about what is going on in the country right now. But what really baffles me is that, why is it that this spread is starting from our leaders? Why is it that it's really, really starting from our leaders comparing to other countries? You can imagine this. And now, Bauchi governor is being scared. People are scared that... There is every possibility that Bauchi governor could actually contact this. It is obvious because for you to enter the same plane with uh, Atiku's son, and Atiku's son now was tested positive. And not only that, he actually shake Atiku's son. Trust me, there is every possibility that uh, Bauchi governor will be tested positive. I'm telling you the truth. And we're just praying that they should not spread it more than this because obviously it is not only Bauchi governor and a, a and an article son will be in the plane at least there are a lot more like that that they will be in the plane so there is every possibility that this thing has been spread this thing has been spread we're just praying to god that god should cut this thing off that god should stop this spread it is getting too much a lot of people have been affected a lot of people not only in Nigeria, we thank God for Nigeria weather, we thank God for everything. But Nigerian leaders too, they need to be careful. They need to take drastic step about this case. And it's just a pity that Nigerian leaders, they don't have enough equipment. They don't have enough facilities to cater for this infected patient. Because if it is more than this, what will Nigerian leaders do? What will Nigerian leaders do? Look at other countries. Look at what they do. They actually build hospitals within a second, within a month. Within some days. Do you think Nigerian leaders could actually do such a thing? That's the thing. That's the fear right now. People are scared of our, of our economy right now. Do they even have enough economic to cater for people? 
Did they even have that? Because it, it, it actually baffles me that uh, this thing is starting from our leaders. I keep on saying it. Which means that our leaders have, already, have seen the Lord. And we are asking for God's mercy. We are asking for, God mercy, for God's mercy right now. That God should have mercy on everybody. Because how can it, how can it spread? How can such virus spread all over the world like this? It's something that we have to sit down and think about. Is it that God really wants to restructure the whole world worldwide? Is it that there is something that God really wants to fetch out? People are scared every day. People are scared of coming out. People are scared to even, to even interact with their fellow families and family members. Trust me, it's something that we have to sit down and think about right now. Right now, we heard that uh, Abakayari was tested positive. Which we know that it is not only Abakayari. At least, Abakayari has his head too. Those set of people will be scared. Where is, uh, where is this country going to? We don't have enough equipment. We don't have any enough facilities. We don't have anything. To even cater for all this thing that is going on right now. May God help us. May God help us with all the situations that is that is going on right now. It is only God that can help us. Trust me. We don't know. But we are praying that very soon, very soon by God's special, special grace. That this thing will stop. And for those that are infected, we are praying for quick recovery for all of them. Including Atiku son, including Abakayari, and all of them, we are praying for quick recovery for them, because we don't want this thing to be more to be to to be worse than this. We don't want. Look at what is going on in the United States right now. A lot of places have been locked down. A lot of big big companies have been locked down because of this spread. Even in UK, even in other places. The mistakes that Nigerian people has, the Nigerian leaders has, is that they would have closed down the border, they would have closed down every place. They would have stopped the movement of the plane. They would have stopped everything with a drastic step. And thank God that this thing doesn't happen in Nigeria fast, fast, compared to other countries. But what is Nigeria government waiting for? They would have stopped all this thing. At least by now, it wouldn't have spread to this level. How will you allow people from UK? How will you allow people from countries that you know that they have high, they have huge spread already? How will you allow such people to enter Nigeria? So guys, what is your own opinion about it? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And also press the notification button for more updates about our latest news. God bless you. Bye.